The Marine Corps is pretty much a collection of uh, society. It's a it's a microbe of of our actual um, our country. If an individual can't adapt to becoming somebody of a high moral character and having integrity and, and valuing those around them, then in an organization like ours, then it's hard for us to be able to trust them. I pretty much had a girlfriend who's now my wife. Um, her grandfather was a Marine in World War II. And when I was a junior in high school, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. After watching the events on September 11th, 2001, and I look around at the world, what I didn't want to do was to do something that only benefited me. Everything about their training is tactical. They want all the recruits to understand that every decision that you make, every move that you make, can have a tactical um, impact. The Marine Corps is the only branch of the military that still trains females separately. Uh, they go through the exact same training, but all of their instructors, all the officers appointed over them, they're all female. Uh, the Marine Corps also has an, a secondary training facility um, at the School of Infantry. And during that school, the females are integrated with the males. So by the time they actually reach what we call the fleet, or where they're going to be stationed at, then they've already integrated and they have the ability working together. But uh, the biggest misconception is probably that all Marines are combat armed, um, although we all are trained to be able to shoot from 500 yards away. We all are trained to be able to take care of ourselves individually and as a team, but we also vary in what our actual job fields are. And the Marines, um, we're like brothers and sisters. We've all gone through this one very hard thing together. And really the only people that understand that are Marines. If you've never done anything hard in your life, if you've never done anything that shows who you are in one look, for anybody that wears this uniform, they wear it with pride. Uh, the pride in who we are, the tradition that we have, the history behind the Marine Corps. Um, we have the best Army, Navy, and Air Force in the world. So what do we really need the Marines for? Um, we're just that icing on top of the cake. It was tough. You know, you're really gonna get pushed to your limits. Uh, you're gonna get pushed past those limits. And other people are just gonna be guided around by whatever limits they set on themselves. But once you realize that those limits aren't real, then you're capable of accomplishing anything.